Hey y'all, it's Brooke with HubSpot Academy. Today, I'm going to go over how you can add your own React components to your UI extension so you can create custom cards for your HubSpot account. So let's check out what's possible with HubSpot development. First, let's go to our terminal and run HS Project Create. Then we're going to give this project a name. I'm going to use React-Components. And then I will say I want it to be in that React Components folder. And we are going to use the CRM Getting Started project just so that it'll build all of our files that we already need and we can get going with creating our React components onto our page. Now we're going to CD into our React components folder we just made. And then we're going to run npm install just to install any node dependencies that we need to install to make this work. Okay, so now that we have our React components folder, I'm going to go ahead and open it in our tree. And then I'm going to make sure that we go into our source folder. And then we want to look at our app.json here. And this is where it's going to give you the name of the folder and things that are going to show up on the front end of your HubSpot account. So you'll want to make sure that you go ahead and update this. So in the name, instead of using get started app, we're going to call this the React Components app. Then you have a description that you can change. You also have a UID. You can also change the scopes. This is important if you're going to read any of your HubSpot data, you need to make sure to scope it properly. Now that we've done that, let's go into our extensions folder. And then we're going to look at our example.jsx file because this is where we are going to write our React code. Okay, now we're in our React file and at the very top we have to import React and then we have to import the different React components from the HubSpot UI extensions library that we want to use. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add, we want to do the dropdown and that is a standard component. And then we're also going to use checkbox, which is an input type. Okay, now that we've imported our two components, let's scroll down to our const extension and let's focus on dropdown first. So for the dropdown, you need to create an array of objects that has the options that will show up when you click the dropdown button. So I'm just going to call that const dd options. And then inside of here in our object, we need a label and this will be clone. And then I'm also going to add the on click. This is what happens when you go ahead and click the button. I'm going to set this to be an anonymous function for right now. And then we are just going to go ahead and console.log a message. And then here inside of our console.log, we need to add another object with the message. And this is going to be cloned. And then we're going to add a second option in our dropdown. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over. And then we will just change out what the label says. This will just be delete. And then our message in console log will be deleted. So now that we've got the option set up for our dropdown, we can go and return our dropdown. So in React, you need to make sure that whatever you're calling, you have to make sure that you're using the same case. So here we're using uppercase for dropdown. And then we add in our options. So this is the required field, and this is going to be an object, and it'll just return that array of object that we created. Next, we will need to add a variant. This is optional, but there are three different variants that you can choose from, primary, secondary, and transparent. We'll just go ahead with primary. And then next, we can add a button size to decide how big it is. This will be medium. And finally, we'll go ahead and add our button text. This is what's going to show up on the button before you click it. So we'll just say more for now. And then the last thing you have to do is just make sure that you close out your React component. Now that we've got our dropdown, let's go down to another line. And now we're going to create a checkbox, which is an input type of component. So this will render a single checkbox. So if you want more, you might have to use the toggle group so that you can have extra logic for handling multiple checkboxes. So the first thing that we need to do is we'll just call the checkbox. 
So our checkbox has a bunch of different options. And if you want to see those options, please check out the HubSpot developer docs that dive more deeply into them. For this one, the only thing we need to really set is the name. And we're going to call this admin check and a description. We're going to say select to grant superpowers. <laughs> And then we close that. And then inside our tags is where we're going to write the text that will show up beside the checkbox. So we're going to call this super admin. So the last thing that I want to mention is because we're using React, we can have React remember the state of the checkbox, either checked or unchecked, and then run different functions based on its state. For now, we're just going to leave this checkbox decorative. Now let's go into our terminal and run HS project dev. Then we're going to say, yes, we want to continue testing in our sandbox. And yes, we want to create this new project. And this will build and deploy it into our account. Now let's go over to our HubSpot account. Here we see our custom tab. It's not showing up yet. So we have to click customize tabs and then click on the default view. Then choose our custom tab, click add card, and then choose the example card to add. And then we can go ahead and save and exit. And now our example card is showing up. And because we run HS project dev, we can develop it locally and make changes in real time without having to close the server. So our dropdown, clone, delete, and our checkbox, check and uncheck. And that's how you add your own React components to a HubSpot UI extension. Thanks so much for watching. As always, please leave your feedback on what you want to learn next in the comments, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.